We're going to see first, this, meat was, or this kidney was once covered with fat. If I show you the other side here, this is what it looked like initially. So you can see the kidney here, the right kidney. You can kind of do that one on your own if you like. But a lot of fat kind of covers the kidney. We call that the perirenal fat overall. Perirenal fat. So we need to know that. Uh, yeah. For the lecture, yeah. For the lab, I'm just kind of giving you like just some okay. extra information. So here's one kidney. You can see how it kind of floats around. Take it outside the fat, and only these big vessels hold it in place here. So first, I just kind of cleaned some fat. I didn't cut anything here. I just got the scissors and spread this out because I don't want to cut this thing. That's the order. Look how tiny that is. Wow. So if you cut this, very easy to cut. Don't cut the fat. You just kind of spread it away. The tough thing that remains behind here, and it's not as tough as a nerve is, that's the order, which goes all the way down to this thing right here, and that's the urinary bladder. In fact, that's a fairly good-sized bladder for a mink. That's about as big as they'll get. It's a big stomach, big bladder. They kind of go hand in hand, right? So urinary bladder, pull the colon out of the way, or you can see the ureter going all the way down and entering into part of the bladder. If I kind of stretch that out there, you can see it going down. By the way, these vessels here, testicular artery and testicular vein going down towards the spermatic cord. We'll see those later on for the, with, with the um, um, reproductive system. So right there is the urinary bladder. People think it's kind of small, but then again, I, I will say that you know all minks suffer from TB, tiny bladders, right? So again, that's the little tiny urinary bladder right there. Some kidney, ureter, and urinary bladder. Then we also have some nice big blood vessels down here. Hard to miss these things. Every mink should show the big vein here nice and well. That's the mink's inferior vena cava. Right beside it, we may have to dissect out a little bit here. Big artery just to its left, right in here. This thing is the abdominal aorta. So that's the aorta going right down beside it. Then down here, the aorta is going to branch. Did you cut the intestines out? Uh, I just pulled them out of the way. I just pulled, flipped everything out. So it didn't cut. You just literally just flop stuff out of the way to reach these things. It's easier on the left hand side compared to the right hand side. So down here, we're going to see where the iliac. where the aorta ends. Now in humans, we had a common iliac. The minks don't have that. The first two branches coming off like that are the external iliac arteries. Down below them, we have two more parallel running branches. Those are the internal Inter iliacs. So minks have no common Inter iliac. So the abdominal aorta <coughs> goes by first branching into the external iliac, then down below it, the <laughs> internal iliac arteries. Something else that's really cool in this mink, you usually don't see very well, this little tiny thing here, that's a testicular artery. Look how tiny that is. So the latex get into that, that's amazing that it kind of survived that well. So that's one testicular. Here's the other testicular artery right beside it. This blue thing here, testicular vein, all right? So testicular vein and testicular arteries. Now this thing down here, not on your list, but just up so nice I just couldn't pass it up. This is inferior mesenteric arteries. That's pretty cool going over here to part of the large intestine, all right? Up here going to the kidneys, the big vein going out to our kidney here would be a left renal vein and just behind it, just deep to it, a left renal artery. So right here, artery and the vein going out to the kidney. So those are the renal vein and renal artery. Then, right above the kidney, there's another little vein here. We're not gonna worry about what its name is, but what it's actually kind of covering here, a little bit of fat, this little hard thing, that's the mink's adrenal gland right there. Mm. Not very big, little tiny structure. In humans, it sits on our kidney. Mink's a little removed from the kidney right in here. What happens, this little vein kind of holds the gland in place, like an arm kind of holding a loaf of bread in the way. And that's the best way to see it right here. So this thing feels kind of hard. That's not fat. That's the adrenal gland right in here. The vein, by the way, is called the suprarenal vein. It helps drain away blood from the gland. So that's the mink's adrenal gland. Uh, last thing we also see really nice here, remember from the other week? Remember you had your hepatic portal vein here, the big yellow mm -hmm. thing? Mm -hmm. And its two main tributaries, the splenic vein and the superior mesenteric vein. They combine right here to form the hepatic portal <coughs> vein overall.